My, My name is Coro. Coro. I'm the art, art director, director here at Massive Black, Black Studios. Studios. And first, first off, I, I want to say, say that if you're, you're afraid, afraid of learning, learning the, door's the door's right, right there. there. What we're going to go through here today is uh, I'm going to take you guys through um, some quick environment modeling and how ways we can use 3D to uh, help us in some, uh, some quick conceptual stuff. Uh, so this is 3D for previs. I hope you enjoy. What we're going to do here, uh, we're going to start with a plane here. I'm going to convert it to editable poly. What I've done is I've subdivided this plane. Uh, I want to select these edges and I'm going to chamfer them to uh, create a new inlaid series of polys that are going to, uh, going to serve as our street. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, create a box on the inside. What I want to do is I want to build this box basically inside of the cage and just set it just inside. And what this is going to do is this is going to serve as our window glass. And this way um, an entire face can serve as the side of a building instead of having to build each window individually. The thing this helps with is it renders a lot faster because it's not rendering in individual windows. So really what you want to do is you want to set up your, your, your rings of detail to where things that are closest to the camera are going to be, you know, obviously the most high res stuff. As things get further away, you know, you're going to want to be able to use, you know, lower poly dummy objects. You know, this is because, you know, you're trying not to, uh, you know, build the heaviest stuff that's going to take forever to render because you're going to be painting on top of it anyway. And ultimately, like, what I want to get out of this is uh, I'm going to get these renders of, you know, basic omnidirectional lights, lighting the geometry with uh, simple shadow maps applied. The lesson for today is we're going to be taking the renders that we did last lesson and we're going to be, we're going to be compositing them together and mocking them up into quick mood paintings. A little, bit of, a little bit of spit shine, a little bit of paint, and I'm going to show you guys how to make pretty pictures. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking the, uh, the Z-Depth render and I'm laying it in as a new alpha channel in the channels, which is nice because what you can do is you can load it as a selection and see what that does is based on the value the, on a black and white scale, it, uh, it varies the opacity. So what you can do is, is, is uh, it, it's just a really great way to, uh, to dial in atmosphere into what you're working on. So now what I want to do is I'm, I'm selecting one side of these buildings, just, just with the magic wand, kind of sloppy, but because uh, I want to I wanna blot a little bit of light onto some of these buildings, see what that'll get us. I don't want to be too heavy handed with this either. I'm very careful not to do that. Like I said, you just want to keep building things up slowly. Now I'm going to, uh, I don't want to add a couple lights here and there. Traffic light. Lights on cars. All those little point lights make a huge difference ultimately. It really helps kind of sell it. Pretty much your lighting is in, your mood is in. The picture's dialed in, and you're just painting on top and color picking at this point. It's pretty easy. So yeah, now you know. Here we go. We've we've taken uh, four sets of renders and taken them into a uh, quick mood painting, you know, phase. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for supporting ConceptArt.org and your your local tax person, county person, and your mom, my mom, everyone's mom. <laughs>